So for number 22, they want us to shade in the pyramid of combination CU plus DV plus EW with um, C, D, and E all greater than or equal to zero, and their sum um, greater than or equal to one. So um, we've seen this in problem 21, but let's just recap it real fast, that this point here, this point that describes um, the outer triangle, this point is when uh, we have 1w plus 0u plus 0v. And then this point over here is when we have 1u plus 0w plus 0v. And this point here is when we have 1v plus 0w plus 0u. So it means that whenever the sum, uh, the sum of all these coefficients, so maybe I'm going to put this uh, Cu plus Dv plus Ew. So when the sum is equal to 1, right, because on the first one it's 1 plus 0 plus 0, the second one is 1 plus 0 plus 0, and so on. When the sum is equal to 1, we're going to be within this triangle here, because th these are the outer boundaries of the triangles. So whenever the sum is equal to 1, it's going to be e here. And now it's telling us, hey, that sum can be at most 1. So this is going to be the outer boundary, right? Um, so now let's see what happens if the sum is less than 1, but greater than 0. So um, if I take any v here where it's going to be less than 1, my outer boundary is going to be here. Because, let me erase this, imagine that I have, I don't know, um, I have 0w plus 0u, and the v varies between 1 and 0. So if it varies between 1 and 0, it means that I can be here, I can be there, here, 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 and so on. And so there are a whole range of possibilities in this line from 0 to 1. Same thing if I take u from 0 to 1, right? The range of possibilities go for, goes from down here to up here, and 0 to w, same thing. So actually, the pyramid is going to be this whole thing here. That's going to describe all the possibilities between 0 to 1. And now they want us to um, find the vector 1 half u plus v plus w. And we want to mark it as inside or outside the pyramid. So we, we're going to have 1 half u plus 1 half v plus 1 half w. And actually, we can see that the sum... So 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half is definitely greater than 1, right? So it's not going to lie inside the pyramid because we said, hey, this pyramid is when the sum um, is equal to or less than 1. So because this whole sum is going to be greater than 1, it's going to be outside this pyramid. Um, and actually, let's just, let's just draw where it's going to be. So I'm just going to mark this. This is going to be half V over here. That's going to be half U. And this is going to be half W. And so I'm just going to do the tip to tail addition, move it around, and we can see exactly where it is. So I'm going to move this one here. I'm going to do tip to tail addition. So that goes here. We can actually see here that because we did one half plus one half, it does lie inside the triangle, right? It's the upper boundary exactly as we predicted. But now when I add in another one half, so it's going to go beyond one, I'm going to move it and I'm going to put it here, tip to tail. Um, and we can see here that it does, it definitely does lie outside our pyramid, right? This is going to be here, our pyramid of possibilities when the sum is... Um, less than or equal to 1. So this point definitely does lie outside, um, confirming our hypothesis. And that is it for item 22.